Greetings. Thanks for watching this video that will share some information with you about internships and practicums at the Lincoln campus for Doan University. My name is Susan Rocker. I'm the Director of Career Development and I'm responsible for faculty oversight for the internships and practicums that occur at the undergraduate level on the Lincoln campus. We have two majors on campus that require either an internship or a practicum. There's an internship that's required for human relations students, and that course is HRE 421. Uh, and a practicum is required for the organizational communication majors. That course is CMS 296. Uh, but in addition to, to those two opportunities, we can build internship courses for most other majors on campus. So if you are a paralegal student or a graphic design student or a business student or, or another major. Uh, if, if an internship uh, is something that interests you, uh, talk to your advisor, talk to me, and um, typically we can work that out. Uh, especially if you have general elective classes to take, that's where we land those credits uh, is, is in those, that general electives category. You can enroll in an internship or practicum class in any term. Uh, we offer them five times a year, so all five terms at the Lincoln campus, uh, the class is always available. The requirement for both human relations and organizational communication is that students either need to transfer in or take one credit of internship for human relations, one credit for practicum for organizational communication students. One credit requires 40 hours of work at your internship or practicum site. Now some students do elect to do more than one credit of internship or practicum, uh, but that typically only makes sense if you have additional general elective credits to earn. We don't want you to pay for credits that you don't need. But for some students, particularly in human relations, they, they might have that wiggle room with general electives to take additional internship credits. And that uh, is interesting to, to folks who are trying to develop their career and, and create new, crea uh, new connections. It is 40 hours for each credit you enroll in. In terms of timing for when to enroll, it, kind of not too early, not too late. I, I would say that ideally when you're about a year, year and a half away from graduating, uh, when you, we would consider you in your junior year, uh, that would be um, an ideal time. I will tell you that I've heard over and over again from students that uh, if they took their internship or practicum class, at the same time as they took their senior seminar, that that's a decision that they regretted. So try to avoid that if at all possible. Now, when it comes to setting up the internship or the practicum site, it's students' responsibility to set that up. And um, you know what? When you're thinking about what you're going to be doing, the work that you're doing or the tasks that you'll be involved in during the internship or practicum need to relate well to your major. So there needs to be a connection between what you're doing and what your major is about. There also needs to be some new learning for you in that area. Um, so it can't just be things that you've, you've already been doing. We need to show uh, knowledge, skills, or abilities that you're growing that relate well to your major. Um, you can start making contacts uh, to set up your site uh, early before the term starts. I would typically recommend about four weeks before the term starts. Um, and just some good concentrated effort during those four weeks or month or so before the term starts, you should be in good shape. Uh, you are going to have a uh, more stress-free, smooth experience if you have your site set up before the term begins. So if you can shoot for that, that would, that would be best. Um, there's a second video available called Setting Up Your Internship or Practicum that gives you more information about how to select a site and how to go about approaching uh, employers and, and securing a site. So check that one out too. So what, what happens at the beginning of the term when you've enrolled in, in an internship or practicum class? Uh, the starting point is a one-time mandatory class meeting uh, that happens during the first week of the term, uh, each term. 
And so when you enroll, you should check the class schedule to find the date and time for the meeting that applies to you. It's a half an hour meeting, but we go over a lot of important information uh, during that meeting, so you want to make sure and be there. Uh, you're going to get all the paperwork that you need for the class, learn about the course requirements, what you need to be doing before you start your hours, um, and throughout the term and then at the end to get things wrapped up. We will meet one more time, not as a group, but individually, just uh, myself and each student when you're three-fourths of the way done with your hours. So for example, if you are doing 40 hours of internship, we need to meet when you're at the 30 hour mark. Now I wouldn't wait until you're at 30 hours to set up that meeting. Give yourself a little time so that we can find a time that works both for you and I. So I, I typically encourage folks that you know if you know you're gonna meet your 30 hours in about 10 days, maybe even two weeks down the road, that would be the good time to email me to set up that appointment just to make sure we can find a time that works for both of us before you exceed the, that 30 hour mark. We'll talk some more about that in that mandatory meeting in week one when you enroll. You do have up to two terms to complete your hours if needed. Now you need to start your hours in term one, so uh, you, you do need to get things rolling in the first term, but if you need that second term to finish your hours, you, you can take that second term. Uh, and if you're taking more than one credit of internship or practicum, it's possible that you may be able to negotiate additional terms beyond two terms, uh, but we just need to have a talk about that if you are taking multiple credits. Now, what if your start date for your internship or practicum doesn't sync up with the beginning of the term? Well, if it's you know, a a few weeks after the beginning of the term, that kind of thing, um, that's okay. Uh, just come to the class the first week of the term and, and, and everything will be cool. But if they want you to start earlier, before the term starts, we should, you, we should probably connect and, and have a conversation about that. Just email me, explain to me what site you're at, when you want to start your hours, and, and when you're enrolled, and we'll see what we need to do. Uh, generally speaking, we need those, the, the term you're enrolled and when you start your hours to be pretty much in sync. We can't, we can't do a whole lot of shifting there. But we have a little bit of wiggle room, so if, if you run into that, um, just get, send me an email, tell me what's going on, and we'll work it out. So thanks for taking time to listen to this video, and I hope you'll watch the other video that talks about how to set up your site. Thanks so much.